All right, Vic here with Move Miami. We are back again with my trusted associate, Carolina Villarreal. We're here to cover part two of Coconut Grove Deep Dive. We're gonna focus right now on condos, condo life, and more life on the water. Yeah. That's what Coconut Grove is all about. Let's talk to them about the best places to live. Let's go best condos in Coconut Grove. You have two near buildings, one park grove, two park grove. Um, some of our older but equally luxurious buildings are the Governor House and um, the Grove at Grand Bay. All amazing buildings, all waterfront. Um, even if you don't have a waterfront view, from your condo in those buildings, you have a beautiful view of the city. You get westward views, beautiful, beautiful um, condos. Yeah, and most of these condos uh, are right on Bayshore Drive and what they have across the street from them are buildings that are never gonna be something that's gonna obstruct yep. your view. So if you lock in at one of these buildings, don't be worried, you're not gonna have City Hall going up 20 stories, it's gonna block your view, the marina's there, you're always gonna have a beautiful, gorgeous view right outside of your window every morning that you wake up. Beautiful, sun rising, east for eastward views, highly recommend those condos right there. Other really amazing condos are on Grove Isle, which is a little private island just outside of Coconut Grove, and they've got a brand new development that's gonna break ground soon called Vita Residences. We're gonna try and get you guys a sneak peek of what those look like uh, so that uh, we're gonna try and cover it soon. So if I, if I can get in with the guys over at Vita Residences, we're gonna take a tour, take you to the sales center so you can see what one of these beautiful condos overlooking the water eastward, right outside of Coconut Grove is gonna look like we also have two new developments going up in Coconut Grove right now that you all need to be aware about. One of them is the Mr. C's residence that is affiliated with the Mr. C's hotel. You guys are gonna wanna check this one out. Fantastic with the Cipriani downstairs. You're gonna have all the feels of the hotel, but in a much more private setting because it's just going to be i'm sure there's going to be some rental restrictions there it's not going to be like the hotel that's in the middle of downtown no for something so luxurious i mean if you're putting that much money into a condo you don't want people staying there for 30 days and kind of let's talk to everybody about all the best restaurants in coconut grove starting from the most western point all the way till we get into downtown grove and the mayfair so obviously our favorite one is all the way out west let's talk about it which one Arriete? Of course. <laughs> Ariete, yeah. So they just got their Michelin star. Um, super good. Um, they have, you know, that that farmhouse style setting. Um, you have indoor seating, you have outdoor seating. Great for brunch. Their duck there is to die for. I suggest calling ahead, letting them know you're going to have the duck so they have it when you get there because it does run out because it's that good. Yeah. Shout out to Mike Beltran. Congrats again on the Michelin star. Everybody should go check out Ariete, and he has a little seafood restaurant next door, another pastelito place down the street. He's, uh, I think, opening up something in downtown Grove, but uh, that will be something we'll cover in another segment. Uh, another good place, let's talk about two of the good brunch spots that are over on the western uh, side of Coconut Grove. Yeah, so if we keep going down, we run into Green Street Cafe, super known for their brunch. My favorite, though, is Lulu in the Grove. Mm. I think the bacon wrap dates are, out, out of control at Lulu's, which is right across the street from yeah. this. There's also a new concept, a Mediterranean concept that just opened up there. We haven't checked it out yet. I heard fantastic things from a client. Don't know the name, but I'm gonna find out and I'm gonna let you guys know when I check it out. All right, uh, let's talk a little bit more about the best dive bars and lead into some of these nice restaurants right off of where Barracudas is at. Yeah, so you have Locale there. Um, super known for their burgers and their meads and their cocktails. That's the same group that owns Kush, the burger place that we covered in another segment uh, about in Wynwood. So the Kush Wynwood Burger, you wanna check it out. Same people, locale, fantastic. If you're looking for a good wood fire pizza place, Italian, you have Farinelli 1937. And then you also have Mr. 01 and Harry's, which are right in the middle of Coco Walk. Mm -hmm. Both are worth checking out, excellent pizzas. Let's talk to them about best sushi spot in coconut grove right now 
I mean, we're gonna have this debate, but I love the sushi at Planta Queen. They're known for their vegan, you know, their vegan renditions of sushi, but it is a unique concept. Not really sushi. Not really sushi. <laughs> But uh, yeah, right, no fish involved. <laughs> right downstairs across from Key Club, which is one of the hottest restaurants in Coconut Grove, you've got Sushi Garage. Definitely worth checking them out. Love the happy hour there. I would absolutely recommend everybody check out Sushi Garage. Great drinks, great sushi, good times. Right there, we also got the movie theater. The yeah. movie theater in downtown Coconut Grove is fantastic. It's They've got these couch-like stadium seating. It's very comfortable. Reserve your seat. They bring the food to mm -hmm. you. Great place to catch a flick if you're going to do it and you're not at home. And last but not least, little known hole in the wall, best place for traditional Indian food in Coconut Grove is... Bombay Darbar. Right behind the Mayfair Hotel. We're going to hop into the computer right now and go over the average prices of one bedrooms, two bedrooms, and three bedroom condos here in Coconut Grove on this deep dive right after this. Here we are, we have got 102 active condominiums for sale in Coconut Grove, the most expensive being the uh, lower penthouse at the Grove at Grand Bay. And the least expensive being a little townhouse on Thomas Ave for $212,000. This is a very small 470 square foot uh, little uh, condo, okay? If you wanna see what that likes, what your entry shovel is, this is what it looks like. So could you afford a Coconut Grove? If you wanted something small, yeah, sure, absolutely. You're in the heart of Coconut Grove, so you can see it on the map. Right here, right off of Grand Avenue, there is Downtown Grove. Okay, now, if you were looking at doing something gorgeous, then you're up here uh, overlooking the water. These are all the buildings we were talking about, Grosvenor House, Grove Bay, Grove Park, Two Park Grove. And let's run the analysis for all the closed sales in the last 45 days. And let's come up with some data for the people. So. Here we are. Right now, we've got 24 condos that have sold in the last 45 days in Coconut Grove. The most expensive being a Park Grove residence on the, uh, let's see, 8A. So uh, lower floor level, nothing too high. Uh, we've got some here at Grosvenor House at 3.3. Oh, so told that 3.1, the list price was 3.3. So a little bit of a reduction here. You're starting to see reductions. Things are slowing down. The market is shifting. We have more availability of units. The least expensive sale was at Grove House, uh, which is on Day Ave. It sold for 375, just so you can have a feel for what that looks like. They're showing everything but the condo. See, there's a condo. See, so this gives you an idea of. what we've got in terms of closing this one sold for 765 a square foot and let's just crunch numbers for everybody i'm here run our quick cma comparables select everything we've got in there looking at the data as we said 24 listings closed in the last 45 days the average condo that sold sold for 1.455 million dollars the average price per square foot is about 800 a square foot so a little less than your single family homes that sold right around 900 the median price being 1.2 your low end was 365 for that little shoebox and the highest one being the six million dollar sale for uh, park growth again if you need any more information about anything in coconut grove or you're looking to get a deal done in the next 10 days next 100 days feel free to give us a call uh, like this like this content if you uh, if if you press hit the like button if you like this content and we'll get back to you thank you again for watching appreciate it so guys if you like this content please drop us a like let us know what we missed in the comments and please if you want to see more of this content subscribe tap the bell for notifications thanks again for joining me Kato. yeah you're welcome and guys don't forget to move miami <laughs>